Hi, I'm Mike Stanton. It's July 21st. This is the BAM Weekly Muni Market Update here with David Young from BAM's Capital Markets Desk. David, thanks for being here from California, your new uh, location out there. Thanks, Mike. So an interesting week in the markets this week for munis, a uh, fairly significant move in yields. That was really kind of follow through on last week's rally in Treasury bond yields. Uh, what was driving the markets uh, from your perspective? Yeah, so in terms of economic data, it was actually a pretty light week. Um, we did get jobless and continuing claims. Um, following that data, uh, we did see Treasury yields um, go a bit higher. And, uh, you know, I think when market participants really dive into that data, it's really just a testament to how resilient the labor market has been. And, you know, we've been harping on that week after week, um, but the data really speaks for itself. Um, going into next week, though, it'll be nothing short of uh, some volatility. Um, the FOMC meeting is taking place. Uh, it will be likely a quieter week, uh, or rather quieter start to the week. Um, but uh, on Friday, we are getting some PCE numbers. And just a reminder to our uh, viewers, that is the Fed's preferred measure of inflation. Um, when we take a look at the Fed funds rate, uh, it's already priced in uh, for a 25-bit hike. Um, that's, you know, 96% chance, which is, you know, virtually all but guaranteed. Um, but in terms of, you know, just looking at the treasuries and munis and how they perform this week, um, munis are on pace to outperform, uh, sending ratios lower, um, even in light of a heavier supply this week, which we'll get to in a little bit. Um, but that's, you know, very constructive uh, for munis in the market and, and um, seeing that we can digest all that supply. Uh, from a uh, net negative uh, supply number, I think we're looking at about 16 billion, um, which is a bit tighter than what we saw maybe a week or two ago. Um, and let, me, let me cut you off there for one second. So net negative supply, that's the fact that there's a lot of uh, redemptions and, and coupon payments coming into the market, reducing the, the total outstanding muni bond base because the, the new issues are not coming in as quickly to, to replace that, right? Uh, that obviously affects the supply demand uh, dynamics. We saw some other data that, uh, that showed a, a bullish uh, technical picture for munis. What else did you see? Yeah, so uh, the Lipper reported 1 billion of inflows. Uh, you know, it's a really high number considering that the last time we saw that was in January. Um, so we really are seeing a constructive tone. Um, and, you know, we'll head into next next week in the FOMC meeting and see what happens. So let's talk about the new issue market. Uh, well, as you mentioned, it was a heavy calendar this week and, and that uh, did not uh, derail the outperformance of the market. Uh, ratios were, uh, were a little bit lower, both on the long end and in, in 10 years. Uh, what kind of transactions did you see on the BAM side? Yeah, so about 11 and a half billion price this week. Uh, we saw, you know, deals like a billion uh, New York City TFAs, um, which actually got bumped. Uh, and then we saw uh, what was supposed to be about a $430 million Salt Lake City Airport deal um, end up getting upsized to $600 million. So another testament to, um, you know, what's going on in the muni market. Uh, for BAM, we insured 23 transactions for $370 million of par. We were really busy. Um, our new issue team was busy, our closing team was busy, um, and just a few deals that I wanted to highlight. Uh, one, the $101 million California Irvine CFD transaction, that was led by Stiefel, and an $80 million California West Contra Costa USD, and that was led by J.P. Morgan. As you mentioned, uh, that... that uh, um... Uh, Irvine transaction was a little bit larger than we had initially anticipated. That was down the 90s, upsized to 101 million, not quite the scale of the Salt Lake City Airport, but still a, a positive sign for demand in the marketplace. I uh, just want to highlight one other transaction from this week's uh, new issue calendar, Osceola, Arkansas. So two series of bonds totaling about $24 million. Cruise and Associates was the underwriter. And we're highlighting that because it was in the BAM Green Star. Those are green bonds verified uh, as in line with the ICMA green bond principle. So BAM uh, took care of that in the BAM Green Star program. Again, really focused focused on those medium-sized issuers uh, selling green bonds that align with international standards. So it was uh, another uh, noteworthy transaction this week. As you said, now next week's calendar is a little bit light. I think issuers are wisely staying away from potential volatility. We see what, what actually emerges. As you mentioned, uh, 25 basis point uh, move seems to be priced in. So maybe the uh, markets will be calmer than people think. But uh, we'll circle back next Friday and uh, report. Thanks for your time, David. Have a great week. All right. Thanks, Mike.